All right, everybody, welcome to today's play test. And today I'm just going to do the play test on the Mercurial Techcraft leather version, kangaroo leather. We'll see how it feels. I'm going to do a couple, take a couple shots, do a little bit of running with them. And I'm going to give my honest opinion, honest review on if these are worth getting um, versus maybe the regular Mercurial. Uh, one thing I decided that I'm going to do is review it based off of like if it's a shoe on its own because I feel if I compare it to the other material it's probably not going to help this sh review that much so I'm just going to review it on a uh, standalone shoe and tell you guys if it's worth getting if it's something you might want to get and I'll let you guys know my opinion after.
All right, everybody. So my final uh, analysis review on the shoe is I, I expected a lot more from Nike. I expected a lot more from the shoe being that it is a leather. Um, I, it's like I said, I tried to not compare it to the original Mercurial, but it's just hard not to because it is a Mercurial after all. So the big difference for me was there was no lockdown feel uh, for some reason. I don't know if it's just um, because of the the synthetic inside that's in it, the, the suede, whatever you want to call it. It just just I just didn't feel locked down. My foot moved around a lot, especially in the heel area. Um, from up here, it was okay, but it's just okay leather. Um, it's not the best. Like I said, even a Premier, which is way cheaper, is a lot better. So um, it, it really did remind me of the Vapor 10 when I had it on. That I will say. So if you like that boot or that shoe, you sh should go for one of these. But if you're looking for a lockdown, like closer to Mercurial, but in a leather field, this is not it. This is this. I wouldn't say it's even close to that. So it is closer to the Vapor 10 more than like newer Vapors. Um, so like I said, if that's something you're interested in, um, go ahead. Also, I would say to wait if you can, because if you notice Nike's on their website, things aren't selling out, their shoes aren't selling out. So you could probably get, um, wait for these to go on sale um, and it might be better for you. Um, so with that being said, I don't think these are worth the price right now unless you definitely really really want a, a, a leather shoe that isn't a Tampa or a Premier or something like that and you want to stay with Nike um, it's an okay shoe it's not the best it's not the worst it's just okay uh, for the price point I just think it's too much um, if you like the stud pattern if you like the grip maybe that's what I would get these for uh, but if not like I said a Tampa even older temple or premiere would probably be something better for you um so that's my review hopefully you liked it like comment subscribe um yeah we'll see you guys in the next one peace